What am I going to do with you? You're not going to classes. You're failing most of your test. Your friends don't like you as far as I know. Teachers don't even want to mess with you because you don't even reach out to your teachers anymore. I'm not going to blame you on acting like this. No, I'm not. It might be the norm to blame you for your own, well, misfortunes, but I see this not as a lack of intelligence. You are an intellectual person. You are a smart person. And I know you are a kind person, a sweet person inside. I've known you for a long time and I understand you. It's only lately that you feel like everything is crumbling down. I know, I know. I know how it feels to feel like you're failing everything. Now everything is is just falling apart even though you're trying to piece it all together. I know that feeling. Your friends might not understand you. Your parents might not understand you. Teachers, they might not understand you. But I see you. I see you. You're in the dark right now, not knowing where to go, not knowing who to call, feeling like nobody understands you, feeling like you're lost, feeling like what's the point if I'm hurting, what's the point if I'm in pain and such. I'm not going to tell you the answers because telling you the answers won't help you at all it doesn't help anyone to tell someone oh go find some passion and such I don't see you as a someone who lacks discipline I see you as someone who lacks motivation I feel like what's the point in all of this don't really understand why do people treat you this way don't really understand why you're falling apart inside out and let me tell you that it's all right what you're feeling right now it's all right there's nothing wrong with that what is wrong is not doing anything about it And just like what I said before, I'm not going to give you the answers. Because the answers won't help you with anything. Questions do. I want to know about your emotions first. So be honest with me. Are you okay? Don't have to answer me if you don't want to. I know the answer. Just need to tell the truth to yourself. Are you okay? Might be thinking, what's the point in life? What is the point in life, to be honest? Why do you think should we suffer? Come on, it's time to think. Why do you think should we suffer? Why do we have to go through all these things? Doesn't make any sense, right? Why do we have to suffer? Why don't we just go around happy? 
But if we're happy, then why is people in Finland, Denmark have a pretty high numbers of suicide rate, even though they could be called as the happiest country around? Why do you think is that so? I'm sure we all love a simple life. I know I do. I wish one day we, I could buy a house on Switzerland. Or maybe the Alps. Wake up in the morning, go on a straw. That would be my definition of happiness. No, no, no. That would be a milestone my happiness I wouldn't call that my happiness but that would be something I strive for even though it might not happen high chance actually but what about you why do you think is that so because they don't know what to do they don't some of them might not have passion to do anything because everything's too easy or maybe no no not everything's too easy everything just feels so perfect that it messes with you probably you feel that right now feel that in your instagram that so many people look perfect going around traveling but you're stuck alone inside your room listening to music Crying to yourself, why are you so alone? Why are you so alone then? Are you afraid of going out meeting people? If yes, why? Is it because you're afraid of being rejected? Or is it because you're afraid of not being in control? It's the questions you must ask. Not to find right answers. You could just go on Google and find right answers and you won't change. You'd just be the same person. What you have to do is you have to question yourself. Alright? I was once like you too. I was once lost, kid. Trust me. I used to be a really, really messed up person. I heard a lot of people back then. Oh, we don't want to know my stories. One time I... I don't know if I should say this, but... One time... <laughs> this was back when I was young. Really young, like on the early days of the internet. There was this online game, online MMOs and stuff like that where... It's a simple game, like, you know, like, it's similar to World of Warcraft, but it's not. And I used to play it with my friends. I have, like, three friends who I used to play around almost regularly. One day, one of my friends was trying to log into his computer. No, 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 his computer. Log into his account. While he was logging in, he said his password out loud. And at the time, you see that game has like this feature in which you could sell and buy stuff like Roblox and stuff right now. So he was the rich one, I was the really poor one. So you know what I did? <laughs> I logged into his account and I stole some of his stuff. I put it in my world. The problem was, I didn't know that I was stealing from his friend's world. And the problem with his friend's world is that they shared that world. So in this, so it's like sharing a business together. But because I stole it using his account, he thought he was stealing it. He was stealing it, and. I was a bad person back then. I don't understand why did I do that. I thought back then it was just 
A white lie, but I didn't realize I hurt someone. It was horrible. Why did I do that? Was it simply because I was having too much fun or was it simply because it was me being greedy? I know damn well I was greedy back then now. How do I change it? Of course I apologize to my friends. It wasn't a good apology because the damage was already done. You might be missing grades, you might be doing stuff you're not doing that much that bad. Maybe you've done something even more worse than I did, or maybe you haven't. I'm not even going to start to compare, because there's no point in comparing all those stuff. But you have to ans- you have to ask yourself the really important questions. Because what matters is not the answers, what matters is the questions, alright? Every week, no, 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 not every week. All right, every week, because I know you're busy at school and other stuff too. You're gonna meet me in my office, and we're gonna talk about life. I've shared my dumb stories to you, just one though, but I'll share more dumb stories. To tell you that I'm just like you. I used to be just like you. Don't have to be afraid. I'm not going to change your personality or anything. But you have to choose whether you want to change yourself. Or do you just want to keep on being like this? And it all starts with you sharing. Alright? The recess is almost over, so you might as well get back to your class. It's nice talking with you, alright? You go and be good at over class too. Okay? Keep in mind that. Why do you think people suffer? I won't... <laughs> I'll give you a challenge. If you write me an essay about... Why do you think suffering exists? And why does it matter? I'll buy you some food. Alright, I'm being serious with this. I'll buy you some food. Okay? Okay. You take care, alright? Have a great day. I'll see you next week. Okay?